What's up YouTube, I'm White Coat Gamer, and recently I got to upload my dream PC build video. In response to that, I got a bunch of comments centered around the thermals I'm getting in the Height Y60 case, as well as how I set up my sensor panel. So I'm going to make a two part video series. The first is going to show you how I set up my sensor panel, and the second is going to be the temperatures I'm getting on my CPU and GPU in the Height Y60 case. You'll definitely want to stay tuned for that second video because I got some new fans as well as a new AIO and you don't want to miss it. But first, let's start off with how I set up my sensor panel. First, we'll show me opening the 12.6 inch LCD display. I got this off of Amazon and once again, the link will be down below in the description. You will need a micro USB and micro HDMI cable. And here I am showing how it perfectly fits in the Height Y60. Make sure the HDMI is directly plugged into your GPU and the micro USB into your motherboard for power. Go into your display settings, make sure that third monitor is now showing up. Select the option that says extend desktop to this display. And then you also want to go down and make sure your resolution is 515 by 1920. You can change this of course, but this is recommended. Getting into software, you want to go to ada64.com and download the latest version of Extreme. This is a 30 day free trial, but even when the trial ends, you can still see your sensor panel, just can't make any changes without the full product. In preferences, select show sensor panel and keep it on top. And this will display the basic sensor panel. Now you'll notice right off the bat, this default sensor panel is not very appealing, but you'll be able to go in and modify each of these settings. You'll be able to modify what the sensor panel displays as well as how it displays it. However, this takes a lot of time and it is very cumbersome. So I'm going to show you how to take some shortcuts and use templates that others have already made in order to make your sensor panel look from the basic to something a little more appealing. Here I am opening one of the templates that I've already downloaded. This makes the sensor panel way more appealing, but you can see the size is a little off as well as things are out of place. All I have to do is go into my settings and make sure that the resolution of the sensor panel matches the resolution of my physical screen. So here I changed this to 515 by 1920. And here we are, the sensor panel is a little bit more appropriately sized. Now I can rearrange any of these items to go where they need to. Now I'll show you how to find these templates. You wanna to go to the ADA64 forum website, type in the search bar, anything that matches the sensor panel that you have. Here I'm typing height Y60 and you'll see many people have posted their height Y60 sensor panels with the download link that you can use. You can search anything in the search bar that matches your sensor panel. Here I am searching the resolution of 515 by 1920. Now see a whole host of examples where people have posted their links. This is a very active forum. As you can see, this post was just from a couple weeks ago and it looks very nice and it's specific to the height Y60. No matter what you search in the search bar, what you're looking for is a share your sensor panel forum discussion. You'll notice that there's over 200 pages of different people posting their sensor panels and these won't all be specific to this LCD display, but you'll be able to use any for inspiration, make edits and find plenty that are specific to this LCD. Once you have a template loaded, you can rearrange anything in the proper order that you need to or you want to, as well as make any changes if you want to display different statistics. If you notice something isn't displaying appropriately, it says NA or is completely missing, just go into your sensor panel manager and make edits there to display what you want. Once everything is organized and displaying appropriately, all you have to do is drag your sensor panel over to your new LCD display, and there you have it, a full-fledged sensor panel. In order to display your FPS, you'll want to download what's known as Reva Tuner. This allows ADA64 to pull in your system's FPS to display it on your sensor panel. Just go to their website, download the latest version. Once it's installed, open Reva Tuner. Sometimes it just goes in your system tray and you'll have to open it from the bottom right. Make sure start with windows is on as well as show on screen display is on. Minimize that. Once again, open ADA64, go into preferences and make sure all these boxes are selected. This just makes sure that ADA64 also opens with windows and stays open so that every time you start your PC, you don't have to individually go in and do this. To get your FPS to display properly, you wanna open your sensor panel manager, select the item in the column that is designated towards your FPS. You wanna make sure it is selected as RTSS FPS. Once you do this, your sensor panel will now display your FPS but it will only do so while you are in a game. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I set up my sensor panel. I know this is a quick video, so if you have any questions or any troubles along the way, leave a comment and I'll be happy to address those. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video getting the specifics about the thermals of this case with my new fans and my new AAO. I'm White Coat Gamer. Peace out.